The environment has a long memory. Our rivers have long memories. Um, people often think about the Industrial Revolution in Britain, home of the Industrial Revolution, and those smoking chimneys and those industrial effluents that went into rivers and that stuff that was thrown around into tips which now seeps into, into, uh, into watercourses and into groundwater. That's all, that did actually happen and it's, the legacy of that is still there. But actually the legacy of our historic impact on river systems goes back to the Bronze Age or before. Uh, we have altered our environment, cut down the trees, we have produced localised areas of contamination through metal bashing industries, even in the Bronze Age. Um, now, some of the things are very acute in the Industrial Revolution and we still live with those. So, uh, the, the, the rise of, of um, industry in the West Midlands, for example, has left a horrific legacy of contamination, which we're still trying to sort out today. But it's not, as I said, not just the Industrial Revolution and not just the past, uh, or not just the more distant past, some, some of the more recent past, we've had quite extraordinary things. Older attendees at the lectures or listeners on the, on the web may well remember those large gas holders that we used to see holding town gas in, uh, in British cities. When those were decommissioned, many of them have been, uh, they held at the bottom of them massive deposits of sticky tar. And to get rid of it, they just made a hole in the bottom of the tank and released it into the ground. So now in cities, in areas close to those, uh, when people are digging up the roads for other reasons, maybe they're trying to sort out IT systems or uh, gas pipelines or whatever, um, modern gas pipelines, they suddenly encounter vast trickling deposits of this sticky tar and it's carcinogenic, it's toxic to, to life, it's uh, extremely damaging and very difficult to get rid of. So it's not just the distant past, those activities were taking place within the last 80 years, were still going on. Um, and uh, you know, there's a raft of other chemicals that were legacies of the Industrial Revolution that we were still producing until relatively recently, and still are in some cases. So not an Industrial Revolution problem per se, but uh, certainly something uh, the Industrial Revolution did leave its footprint uh, on, our, on our river systems.